Time is upon us, my friend, because roughly a year ago, I decided to make this pair based on the Going Merry. I put it off long enough, I think it's finally time for the Thousand Sunny. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Sean, but the streets call me Color Me Fresh. So the original idea when I made the Going Merry pair was I was gonna do one shoe the Going Merry, then the other shoe the Thousand Sunny, but I just did not end up doing that. So after I finished the pair of the Going Merry, I actually really liked the design, the whole theme being the boat, you know, I, I kinda thought it was dope. I kept putting off doing the Thousand Sunny, but it's time for me to get it popping, and I wanna do it bigger and better than I did the first pair. So I went ahead and did the prep work and sketching off camera to save on time, because this is gonna be a longer video. So you see we have Luffy, we have Usopp, Chopper, and then uh, Zoro. Now these are just the initial sketches. I might add additional characters, I'm not sure. And the sock liner is not taped because while I was prepping the shoe and uh, sketching, I decided that I want to age the soles. Which the ship that's been at sea, they've been in fights, you know, it's, it's probably hit rocks and stuff like that, you know. So I want to add a little bit of weathering to the shoe. I'm not going to add a lot. I just want to add just enough to kind of mute this brighter cream color. And so I'm going to dye the soles and then let those sit for a couple of days and then we can proceed from there. The dying is done. As you can see, it's a little bit dark and it should lighten up over time. And the reason why I'm saying it should is because um, I used the wrong dye. It was at this moment that he knew he fed up. I have pre-mixed dyes already made and set aside. The lighter ivory dye that I used was kind of tucked off in the cut and I didn't see it. So I grabbed the wrong one, forgot that I had the ivory and the color I chose is a little bit darker than what I normally go for, for like the lighter aging. So hopefully it turns out right. Or, you know, um, yeah. Now looking at the design draft, you see we have this overall design of the ship. The swoosh I'm kind of turning into like the crossbones behind the lion on the, the front of the ship. And some seasoned One Piece vets, you know, the homies gave me some information and a lot of them told me I should add Frankie. Shout out to you guys for the info, you guys are some real ones. But the problem with Frankie, he's like Broly, he's really big so he takes up a lot of the shoe and just kind of ruins the composition. So I think I'm going to put the big homie on the tongue tags. Now the next thing I'm going to do is get down some of the base coats just so I can get Get some color on the sneakers baby and then from there uh, we'll figure out what we want to do next So the base coats are done and I taped off each character as you can see. And I did that because this back heel area here, I'm gonna paint with the red and yellow stripes from the back of the ship. Now, I don't know if that's the observation deck. Um, you guys can let me know. I think it's the observation deck. I don't know, maybe my sources are wrong. Um, but yeah, I looked it up online. It looked like the observation deck or maybe like the layout was wrong. But yeah, like I said, just let me know. But I just like the canopy, it's like red and yellow striped. And since it's the back of the ship, I thought it'd be cool to put on the back of the shoe. So I'm gonna put that here and then I'll probably paint the mid panel and then clean up the rest of the toe box area and just put more layers there. And then after I finish that, uh, we can figure out what we wanna do next. Baby boy looking mighty crispy. 
So yeah, man, so far I really like how these are turning out. And I went to the garage and I airbrushed the red stripes off of camera. So looking at the shoe, I think I can start painting each of the characters. And then from there, start doing the small details around the shoe. So yes, man, let's uh, get to painting these characters and uh, make some magic, baby. Twinkle, twinkle. Jesus, take the wheel. So I think I can finally start making the shooter like a boat now. I can do some of the wood paneling here and add some of the smaller details. And I might add some seaweed and algae just to give it that kind of whole boat in the ocean feel. And then um, from there, I might actually do the swoosh as well. And then after that, I don't know, the only thing I should really have left to do is maybe like even smaller details, um, the laces. And then if I decide to add the gold eyelets and then the tongue tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the boat details on the shoe to make the shoe look like a boat. too dark so I'm gonna acetone it and then it's gonna take another two days for it to kind of set and hopefully it's light enough by then <sighs> a few moments later so I've acetone it a couple times after a few days it's still not quite as light as I'd like it to be but it's not that bad it kind of has like an orange tint to it and I think it kind of looks good with the reddish color of the shoe now the only thing left to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to assemble the shoe like Voltron. So I'm attached the swoosh, the tongue tag, and the little circle thing with the one that's on the side of the ship. And we'll put that on the side of the shoe as well. Add some final details, ladies and gentlemen, and we're off to the races. Before we take a final look at the shoe, shout out to my Patreon pledges. You guys are some real ones. If you're interested in joining me on Patreon, the link is in the description. I'll be doing more how-to and tutorials over on my Patreon. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button one time for your boy. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, remember everything deserves a little color. Peace.